Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Big, big, big. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy, you CEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 all gone. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. What I mean, all, I mean, all, I mean, on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it. We're on it. Just Google us, Boss Talk Podcast 101. We'll pop up first in line. But if you want to see all our visuals, you got to go over to our YouTube channel. There you see all our visuals. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of this fire content we're giving out every single day. But we do have this exclusive content that we hide in only for members only. So if you want to be a member under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section below, there is a link that says join our membership. Go ahead and click that link, follow all the instructions. And let me tell you, you're going to thank me later, but thank you for all the love and support. Have a blessed day. Man, check it, man. We got a guy here today. Don't need no introduction, man. Hey, we in Las Vegas, Nevada, man. And I ran into a gym, man, my guy. And don't get caught slipping, man, if you're in that ring, man. <laughs> no need to Daenerys in the building. What's going hey, on, man? man? Thank you for having me, guys. This is this is dope. Man, it dope because get, guess what, man? Like, like, I already know, man, when I come to Vegas, I'm looking for this certain individual, right? This certain look. And sports is one of the things I be trying to make sure I, I pretty much connect with while I'm out here because it boxing is so big when you come to Vegas mm -hmm. and it's like man I gotta get with my boy uh, and see who I can get and man right. I've been blessed today man but why is boxing so big out here what makes Las Vegas Ask so him. special He's the one, no? you know what man um, <laughs> you know boxing out here is because that's where everybody fights right so okay. it started off with Floyd being so big out here um, and then Canelo comes here and all that stuff. So this is the place where people want to be at, you know? Not only that, they say, whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So <laughs> maybe that's another thing too, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I know that everybody out here, all the fighters, they love training out here, you know? Mm -hmm. um, we got all the best gyms out here, so maybe that's, 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 that's one, of the, one of the things. But I know for sure, when you go out there for, for a Canelo fight, uh, um, you know, when Floyd used to fight, Pacquiao used to fight, mm -hmm. Everybody showed up. Everybody showed Everybody. up. So I like to go back in the background because he does a little bit about the career and stuff, but I want to know you as a person, right? So you were born and raised in California? No. Where? I was born in, in the Philippines, actually. In the Philippines? Yes, ma'am. I was okay. born in the Philippines. And then I was born, I was, I was raised. <laughs> I was raised. I was about to say, um, born yeah, to yeah, different yeah, born different places. <laughs> Why not? It might happen. You know, yeah. time don't, don't exist, right? You know, <laughs> we're about to get into the spiritual things right off the bat, you know? Um, um, so I grew up in, uh, in Northern California. Okay. You know, it's San Leandro, but then where I'm always at, because of the gym, I'm in Oakland all the time. So I grew right. up a lot in Oakland. Really? A lot of people out there, um, a lot of friends out there. How old were you when you moved from the Philippines and came here? I was uh, 10 years old. So you remember a lot about the Philippines as a child? As a up. child, um, man, we didn't have nothing growing up. Wow. We, didn't have, we didn't have electricity. We, we, we didn't have much food. And so what happened, we would like, we would, um, we would, we would uh, catch fishes and stuff like that and we would open it up, put salt on it, dry it out because we don't have no uh, uh, refrigerator, oh. right? So in order for us to, to have preserve food, the food. Pre preserve wow. the food, so it was kind of like a, a fish jerky. Right, you know? right, right. So, and then, but one thing that we had a lot was fruits. So fruits. Every, every day, I, I was I was one of those kids that I, you know what? I was the smallest, I, I was the slowest and all of that. I wasn't the strongest, but I was the smartest because mm -hmm. I wake up every morning earlier than before everybody else, right? So I go out there, climb on, on, uh, on the mango trees, get the best mangoes, uh, pomelo trees, uh, you know, like, like, like a grapefruit and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I would, I would um, prepare them because I'll sell them to uh, my classmate for, for, for lunch. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we would do that. And, and, you know, and, but I would get the best because I wake up earlier than everybody right. else. Hey, that's the early dope. bird in the first that's word, right, right? That's right. You know, you got it. You got it. If, if you have a disadvantage because you're the smallest, you know, you're not the strongest and you're the fastest, but you know what? There's always a way to make things happen. And for me, it was waking up earlier than everybody else before that, the, the, um, the, the 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 chicken and and, and the roosters <laughs> hit their their notes you know <laughs> they they, they uh, I, I've already done that and they don't like me because I'm there they're, they're, they sleep on the on the trees oh wow they sleep all the birds sleep uh, all the, the the chickens and, and the roosters they sleep on the trees so they didn't eat the fruits no they don't touch the fruits wow now you want like like um corn and seeds and stuff like right. that that's all them yeah. okay you know you won't find that nowhere on the floor mm -hmm. or anything like that on the mm -hmm. ground but they didn't like me because I would 
kick them off the branches and right. get the best fruits and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, you know, but that's how I grew up. That's that what I remember. Mentality. You know, and this so is why I grind. How many, how many siblings do you have? I have, well, it was four all together. My, my younger brother, um, he had, uh, he grew up with, with some kind of um, birth defect, you know, mm-hmm. so his, uh, his mentality is only like about 12 years old, but he, he loved kids. He has two or three kids that are still. Wow. Yeah, but, awesome. but, but you know, he gets along with his kids a lot because that's his mentality, you know, He's, he has this child mentality. And then my, my, old, my older sister, it was me, and then my older sister, and then my older brother. Okay. So, I want to okay. ask you about going back to like having no electricity. Like, how was it? How, so when the lights went off, when it was dark, did y'all automatically, y'all would have to find things to do. Did y'all have candles? How did y'all keep the house? Kerosene in? lamps. <laughs> it was, it was, uh, if we had those, man, it was the brightest thing, you know? It was like, yes, everybody, like, it's so bright. <laughs> yeah. We had another sun, you know? But it was mainly, um, mainly candles. You yeah, know, when, yeah. um, when, when I would, when we would do our, our homework, we would get so focused, right? Next thing you know, you smell this hair getting burned, right? <laughs> it was like, it's this strong odor, right? It, it's, it's very potent. You got like, too close oh, I to know, it. I know, you know, and it, it, it crackles too. Yeah, it does, that's crackles, right. right. So I'm like, oh man, I burned my, her, my hair, you know? So, yeah, yeah. You know, so, um, you know, I remember, I remember all of that stuff. And I remember every time that we travel at night, we have this thing, the coconut leaves, right? Mm-hmm. And we, we weave it all together. Right, we weave all the, the the coconut, and then that would last us about two hours of, of firing it. Wow! Wow! You know, so that's that's our um, what, what do you call Creative. that? That's crazy. Yeah, that's yeah, that's our, that's our um light light. Yeah, you know, wow. that's our torch. It's our torch. Yeah, and that was normal to you because that's normal, what yeah. you grew up, you know, yeah, exactly. experiencing. Yeah. You now people always say because some people look at it like, oh my God, you were so poor, you were so this, you were so that, but to you because that's all you knew at the time. I was happy. Know? Right. I was happy when I wake up in the morning before everybody else, man. I was like, yay, mm-hmm. I got the best fruit. You know, the simplest thing in my life and the most happiest was during those times. Right. You know, I, I, I had the same experience when I was young. I was in the country so far where my grandmother, and she heard these stories mm-hmm. already. So that's what's funny to me because a lot of people wouldn't think it would happen in the States, but you can go so far in the country where there was places where we own land where there's still not electricity there. But it's, it, it was good living. We had puns. We had ways to make that we washed our clothes with a washboard and all kind of stuff. Uh, foot tubs and everything. And so it's a different lifestyle. But we, I would always, and you've heard the story where my cousins that had electricity, they lived in the city. They, we was having so much fun without those resources. They would leave the light <laughs> and come stay with us oh, all weekend. Oh man, that's beautiful. <laughs> because, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah be because they fun. had more fun. Yeah, it, it took it, for some reason it just certain things that we were doing, persimmon trees and all kind of stuff, farming all kind of stuff. It made stuff. you more creative it, too. It, it makes you more 100%. creative. Yeah, so it's a 100%. different. different I mean, I remember we didn't we didn't couldn't afford no no um, no toys, so we would like make branches out of you know out of cars and whatever mm-hmm. whatever it is yeah, right yeah. so we make all kinds of just any kind of um uh, uh ideas that we have we would, we'd make it into a game right. yeah you know what and, I mean? and and it makes you more thankful for what you have today you know what i mean see and that's the thing you're grateful and that's the thing i i believe as i got older that the, the, the truly blessed one or the one that has been in in the dark yeah right. because when you get into the light you can bring the darkness within you and be grateful for the little things that you have. And guess what? Everything in life is so much more amazing. Yeah, yeah. You know? But sometimes I feel like, although we know the struggles of being without certain things, I wish that our kids would at least know about it or experience it for just a little bit because these kids nowadays are so privileged because they have things that we never had when we were growing up. And I'm like, not knowing, they don't know how to do without a cell phone. Number <laughs> oh, one. Me, my, my kids are the same, man. But I, you know, you gotta kind of roll with it. You just kind of mm-hmm. roll with it because with me, I can't bring them to understand how we were growing up, which was you go play outside. Right. You know. Right. You know. So now, no kids outside riding bikes now, anymore. Man, it's you know? older dudes riding bikes doing yeah. stuff they shouldn't be doing oh, yeah. a lot of time. Yeah. They don't play games. I'm like, oh, I just took that bike, man. I just saw that. <laughs> but the bike thing, the game didn't change on the bikes. Yeah. You know, the game didn't change though. You don't see the kids outside. No. They play not, inside. The playgrounds is empty. Yeah. That's, that's video games now. That's all it is. Yeah, and that's why with my kids, I I have to find the leverage. 
mm -hmm. leverage to make them because they love the games. They love the, the computer, the, the iPad. They have everything. They have right. Switch, they have PlayStation, you name it, right? Whatever they want, they got to earn it, right? So in my household, you know, I wake, I started last week. I wake them up in the morning. They do jump ropes and running, you know, for 30, 40 minutes. How old are your kids? They're, they're um, nine and 11. Okay. They're, they're babies still, but you know, for me, I realized that they had everything in life that they were very afraid to venture, you know? And so with me, it was like, you know what? You're gonna, you're gonna be strong. We'll start with your physical, physical ability, physical body to get trained and stuff like that. And in the af afternoon, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I, I, I trained them boxing. And, wow. then, and then Tuesdays and Thursdays, my wife trains them or, or my father-in-law trains them in Taekwondo because wow. that's, that my wife is in Taekwondo. Wow. And so for me, that's a, that's, that's a thing with my family is because you want your electronics, do this for me. That's good. You know, that's good you, stuff. But the more that they understand that there is consequence and there is understanding that, hey, oh, if I do this, I'm going to earn this. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, and so for me, though, I told my son, like, when you're 12, and I'm going to tell you this, because you're afraid to protect your brother when he was getting jumped by other, by other kids, this is what I'm going to tell you to do. You were fearful, and that's okay. Every man is fearful uh, sometimes. They're fearful all the times. But when you have that courage, you go beyond that because, you know what, you have a reason to. You know, so for me, I told him, and he's expecting this when he when he, hit, he turns twelve, he's gonna be competing boxing, wow. Wow. amateur boxing, wow. be, not because I want to. I want him to be a fighter. I want him to to uh, to understand that there is beyond fear. Mm -hmm. You know, when you get, you, I mean, I remember my first fight. Man. All right, my first fight, I literally pissed on my pants. Wow, <laughs> I was so scared because I grew up bullied. Everybody bullied me because I didn't speak English. Little. I was very little. I was very small, you know, and I didn't. I couldn't even. I couldn't. I was in fourth, fifth grade. I couldn't even touch the room because I didn't have strength, right? So everybody, I was the 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 object of ridicule, you know. They, the, I was the, the person that oh, that's the target. Yeah, right? yeah. So you know, it, I, I was always bullied in that in that way, you know. But then when I first stepped into that ring, man. My, I felt like my heart rate was gonna explode. You know, I felt like my heart was gonna explode. I, was, I started pissing in my pants. I was so scared. But the moment that I got in there, the very first punch that hit me, it was another person that just took over. Wow. I give this kid like three or four, eight counts. Oh, he almost got stopped. I won the fight. Um, you know, I was 11 years old and yeah. I, yeah, but who put you in the ring? Who taught you that? Oh, my dad. Your dad was already My dad, old. he loves it. He was in the military, so he loves boxing. So See, he told I, he, he was like I, he's like you need to, I'm gonna put you into this yeah because you were small I was and because small, you were being bullied I was always being bullied and I was always crying why. home you know so yeah that's hard so like you were it. raised with your mom and your father in the household together yeah okay see I love that because you have but a lot the, of but the difference though between not having one and one that that you never really seen okay you know what I'm saying because. We didn't have much, so my parents was always working. Mm -hmm. They barely saw each other, right? Mm -hmm. my, my mom would work in the morning, or my dad would work in the morning in the afternoon, and my mom would work at night. So they're like just passing, right? you know? And so, but I was still blessed that I was able to, you know, um, have a home, right? you know? And I learned the hard way, you know? There's many things as a kid, you learn so many things, you know, get to a point where your parents are fighting and, and you feel like, you know, they make you feel that, oh man, you, you know, my, you, 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 you're, 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 you're an extra dollars in my pocket, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so for me, um, growing up in there, I was, I was a very sad person. I was a very sad kid. And, and, you know, I had an idea that I, maybe I don't believe, belong in this world. Mm -hmm. And I try to do that, you know? Wow. And, really? and this is why I'm so grateful with my life because I felt that God has given me that I have another, another purpose in life. Yeah, and and, and this may be talking about my experience. And stuff How like old that. were you when you changed that um, train of thought and in, from it, that negative thought to a positive? It was very, very, and very. Um, so, it was very, it was very, uh, it was very long, right? Because one thing that people understand that that I started to understand is that when you think about something so much. That, that, that neural connection to that particular um, idea true. is so close. So the very first thing that, that you think about is that. So for me, when I, when, I get, uh, when I get really frustrated, depressed and stuff like that, I would think about that. Mm -hmm. And I would try to do, you know, me out 
Yeah, to, yeah. You know, to to meet to meet God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, right. You know, and every time it was always like that. But I started to fight that off, and I started to create. Every time I feel that I needed that or I wanted to do that, I just say, you know what? Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. I'm thankful to myself. Thank you, thank you. And then after a while, every time that that things ha don't happen, so whether it's me, my wife fighting, or or, or back in the days, it was things that happened. My, you know, my dad cheating on my mom, stuff like that, and leaving my mom. I ended up stop thinking that because now I had to be that that person who put everybody together because everybody was shot mm -hmm. right so for me I was like you know what mom you need to work I gotta work I quit boxing my, my brother I'm like yo you're the older brother you should be working blah blah yeah. blah so I was telling everybody this but I had to stand up because you know what maybe I'm meant for this because so I was always trying to figure out why I'm here yeah right, right. because b before I would always <laughs> think of just taking it let me ask out. you this like like did you did you talk to somebody about it or you just figured it out god you figured it out with your heart source of power how did you figure it out well the very first thing with me was you never really figure it out on your own okay you can never figure it out on your own whether you know, even when you have when you have god as, as as something to guide you that neural connection of of doing that will make you do it every single time but when I learned to say, just say thank you, just say thank you, just say thank you, even though I don't feel it, I just say thank you, that, that gap started to become this. So whenever I feel like I, I am on the worst part, I just say thank you, I'm grateful for it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's the thing, that's the thing that mentality-wise, that when we learn to control how we think, like the I am, I am amazing, right? Mm. I tell my kids every morning, we have our own chant. It's like, yo, hey, what do we are? You know, they were they were cesarean. You know, they were born. So they go. I was born by the blade. I am strong. <laughs> I am I am brave. You know, they do that. They do that chant. You know, and then I go. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm great. What are you grateful for, son? I'm grateful for my toys. I'm grateful for you, Papa. I'm grateful for you, Mama. You know, whatever it is, right? But That's you got good. to train the mind to be strong and get that neural connection to be in a positive light rather than the negative because I was that way. I grew up that way. I hated the world. I hated people. I hated everything. Wow. You know, because I was I was I was that kid that was always I was never got picked. Yeah. I was always pushed. I was always kicked. I was always punched. I was always this and always that. And when I learned how to fight, my dad didn't want to deal with however the parents or whatever. So he's like, don't fight. So I would just stand there and get my ass beat. You know? Oh, he said that to you? Yeah, because he doesn't want to deal with it. You know, so for me, even though I could have, you know, been so bad on those kids, I just took it because that's what my pop did. And I was the kind of kid that I was like, you know what, I didn't really care. I was, I guess I grew up because of the way I was, I was kind of numb. I didn't really care too much about pain and care about emotion and stuff like that. But you know what, one thing that I was blessed with, I met my wife, that's wow. it. Wow. That very person brought that light on me. Wow. wow. That's why when you said, how long did it take me? It took me until I found that person for mm. me. You Do you know? believe that everything happens for a reason in life though? A hundred percent. And, but I got to tell this too, is that we do, I believe that we do have our own ways. This is why we have, we have free will. free will, you know, things happen for a reason because deep within us, in our own frequency, we're calling for something else. Mm -hmm. And, and whether it's guidance, my calling was for my wife and I to be together. You know, it wasn't it wasn't love at first sight. We we was always competing. Even today, we're still competing. <laughs> you know, when when when, 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 um, when when you ask her uh, uh, how we met, the first thing that she's gonna do, what did she say? She's gonna be like, "You you was you was hitting on me." So whoever say first, like, who you was hitting on me? Yeah. You know, every time. But it was always a competition with us. But I learned that you know that 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 a person truly needs someone that that um that allows him and her to be the ownership of their own decision. Mm -hmm. The ownership and not make any excuse and take it for what it is. Because a lot of people are afraid of making mistakes so they don't take all of that, you know, and they make excuses. As for me and my kids, that's the first thing that I'd be, like, be mad about. Yeah. You know, when they put fingers, I'm like, okay, you ain't got no thing no more. I'm not trying to take your stuff away, but you already know the rules in this house. We don't make excuses, you know? So with me, when I mess up, and, and with my wife, she's like, nya, 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 nya. I'm like, yeah, 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 babe, yeah, 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 my queen. I, I'm, I'm sorry. You know what? I, I will be better. I will do my best. And I'm not saying it just to say it, but I will do it. You know, and I do it, and I <laughs> yeah, do it, you yeah, know? But yeah. there's a lot of things to, to, you know, a lot of guys be like, oh, man. I got to ask you about you know? the boxing, man. Like, this world is, is 
totally different world. But you, after Manny Pacquiao being from Filipino, like uh, you, you basically they watch you, they watch y'all. Like how much did did he influence you as you was coming up the ranks? Did you see him and be like? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this happen. Or how much of an influence? And what has he said to you since this has been? You know, your career has been. Blocked? Man, I met him since when I was 17, I think, um, or oh, 18. Uh, um, I just turned 18, I think, at that time. It was in 2000. Um, no, uh, actually, I was probably 17 then. Um, and I sparred with him. Oh, you sparred with? Yeah, him? Yeah, I sparred with him. I worked with him because you know. Was for that me, big for you? How, how big was that for you? It, it was it was huge for yeah. me. Yeah. You know because um, this was the guy. No one really knew him yet. At that time, you know, so, um, but he was, you know, he was. Y'all knew him in the boxing world yeah. because y'all knew each other. Skills. Right, right, and we were from the Philippines. Yeah, not just in the Philippines, but we grew up, um, or we were in in the same uh, island, okay. the same city. That was okay. in the same city. Yeah, same city. So. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, so there's like three or four world champions in the same city. Yeah. that I'm in because I don't know. They always say that that's that's, that's the place that that you know the boxers. That, yeah, the boxers. <laughs> that the you know. That's but, crazy. What's yeah. the name of the city? Uh, General Santo City. Okay. Yeah, wow. General Santo City. So how was that sparring with him? Like at, at an early age, like did you know you had something, or would, how how did y'all feel about each other? Man, I was I was just trying to tee off on him, man. That's it. <laughs> like with me, and I always tell this with 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 the guys coming up, the kids coming up, and I always tell them when you're in there, it don't matter who it is, you know, you can be with with. Mayweather or or whoever you're sparring and, and all that stuff, you gotta go and take their head off because yeah. that's the mentality that you gotta be because your life depends on that when you're inside a professional uh, fight. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Inside that ring, you gotta protect yourself and there is no respect. Outside, yeah, please do respect. Please give that um, boxing a class, you mm -hmm. know, like the old way, you know, like the, the back in the days, they would be wearing suits all mm -hmm. the time, you know, and they would represent boxing with, with, with the greatest respect. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, kids don't do that no more. No, they don't. They you know? don't. So you guys, mm -hmm. okay, so you start to see him come up. So you see him before he gets hyped, for the big, now you see him start to get bigger and then you you doing your thing. He ends up winning the belt and all that. What did you think about that? I was, I was, I was happy for him. I was very, very proud because for once, no one would sign me because I was Filipino. Okay. Because they would always say, oh, before Pacquiao came in the picture, they would always say, oh, Filipinos can't crack eggs you know mm -hmm. meaning that we ain't got no power right so so no one would sign me and then when Pacquiao came in the picture then they were starting to look into Filipino uh, talents right you know and so yeah wow and it's something that world is just so it's so different you it know it has what to I mean? be one that come through to open the door for yeah, many yeah exactly yeah. exactly, huh. exactly. and that's something that that you know for every this way I always tell people you know what be grateful for what you have if you have that influence give it you know, give that energy to, to, to inspire, to motivate, to whatever you know, share it, yeah. you know, so that we can have a better world instead of, of a world that's confused. Right. And don't be scared to be the first because a lot of people who um, have never seen anybody like them be that person, I can imagine how scary that might be. You know what I mean? Yeah. And how much... Um, deterrence they might get from other people saying, oh, you can't, just like how you were saying earlier, saying that you can't because you can't, you know, pack a powerful punch. Yeah. You can't. How many times did you hear that? And how many times in your mind you might have thought that because right. of you hearing it so much, you had to try to combat that in your mind and say, no, I am going to do this. Right. You know See, what but I mean? there's a difference, right? Because we were taught growing up, at least me in the 80s, you know, uh, 80s, 80s of kids, um, we were never told how to become, right? It was just what we saw, you know? And it was, it was you know, and, and, and so with me, with my kids, I teach them. I always tell them, and, and maybe it backfired on me a little bit because I said, yo, you guys gotta be asking questions. Oh my God. Now, <laughs> now they, they ask, ask me for me. everything. You know what, if they can, if it's like, I, they, they'll ask for anything and everything. If, if they say no, I'm like, okay, thank you, that's it, you know? But they'll ask me for everything. But I, that's, that's one thing that I am proud of because, you know, they're not afraid. Yeah. They're not afraid to, to, to be looked or, or, or be seen some type of way, you know? And that's the thing that I, I, I try to create with my kids is no matter what people tell you, just know who you are. You know, be you. You know, and, and my little my little guy, he, he's you know he's still kind of kind of caught up with 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 what people say to him. You know, while my eldest is like, 
call me, call me whatever you want to call. I'm like, I don't care, blah, blah, blah. You know, so I'm like, okay, that's cool. You know, but everybody has their own good and bad into things, you know. Yeah. Well, when, when they, you, you've been champion, man, in four different weight classes. Four different weight classes. And I think I, wish, I, I call it five because, because the interim championship, um, is a cha- is a world champion. Interim, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I am the interim in in, in the in the super ba- super flyweight. So that makes me a five division or world champion. Wow. But no one really calls me that. So I think, <laughs> I, whatever. I call myself five. Okay. So you know. So, uh, what what was it like to win that first belt? Man. So the guy that 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 um I fought for that title in two thousand seven okay. seven 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 wow. July seven two thousand seven. Wow. wow. Right. That guy beat my brother like two fights before that. Wow. My older brother. Oh, so he fought he too. He fought too, yeah, yeah. So, um, and, and, you know, for me, my older brother was like, was like someone I look up to, you know? And, and so for me, it was like, man, I, I was kind of nervous, but then when we uh, got into the press conference, this dude was, he brought this helmet, a knight's helmet, this metal helmet, he said, even if you put this helmet, I'll, I'll still knock you out. Right. Wow. So that right there just triggered me because, you know, I got my chip too, you know, I was like, okay, let's see. So from that moment on, I didn't care too much about winning or, or, or losing or being a champion. I just want to beat these dudes so bad. Right. <laughs> and oh man, that's all I cared about. So when I, when, you know, the fight came in the fifth round, I cracked them. Wow. Fall. And you can hear this, this big thud too on, on TV. Boom. It was on Showtime and he got knocked out. And I was looking at him, I was like, get up, get up. You get wanted up. I just get wanted it. him so be, to be hurt, like, get up. And then when I realized he couldn't and they stopped the fight, oh man, I didn't know what the hell to do. I was like, oh my God. I was jumping up and down. like I just, Champion. I, yeah, I'm like, oh my God, I, I can't believe a moral champion, champion now. Right. So, so yeah. when you win it, you didn't think about nothing but just beating him. And beating the dude. And, and basically, once this happened, what do your brother say to you after a fight? Like? He was very proud. He I was, know he was He proud. was very proud. He was, he, was, he was yelling. He lost his voice, you know. <laughs> you know, it, it, was, it, was a, it was very magical. It That's was awesome. very, and very magical. Your brothers are competitive. He, did he ever look at you and like, oh, you still can't beat me? I don't know. I, I, I make sure I can beat him. <laughs> that was a big difference. Like, he was good at what he does, but I work harder than he did. Okay. You know? Yeah. And yeah. that stemmed from when you were younger, because just, just like you said, you oh, woke man. up early, you picked the yep. fruits early. Yeah, that's right. You worked right. harder. Uh, exactly. And, and it paid it paid off, <laughs> you when know? You, when you went to the next weight class, how big is well, it? But before you get to the next, okay. how long did it take you to get to, from the the, to the belt from the first time when you started? Cause they need to know how long this oh, takes. Oh, so in 2000, I, I, I um, tried out for the uh, Olympic trials. Mm-hmm. You know, I think it was in Tampa or, or uh, Orlando, one of them, you know, um, and, and I lost in the finals, mm-hmm. you know? And the funny thing was me and my brother actually were gonna fight in the losers what? bracket. Yeah, because we were in the same weight. And so we felt that we were cheated in the decision that, so we protested. Wow. You know, um, we got in the ring, got our gears, got our gloves, got our headgears, ready to go. And, you know, when they were about to announce, we just both sat on mm-hmm. the ring. Do it. You know, we both sat in the ring. So Did it help? Did it do anything? <clears throat> yeah. You I know, mean, I, tell them not they, going for you know it. It, was, it, was, it was just a, a statement, right? Okay. But at the end of the day, we couldn't really do nothing, mm-hmm. right? Because they, are, they, had, they had their own ways already. There was nothing changing that, yeah. you know? It was just like anything in this world when, you know, one person can't make a voice change in, in, a, in a rules and, and stuff like that when, when there's only this many people when every system is already working that way. They're not gonna change it. Wow. But you how many I mean? years, I'm talking about from the moment yeah. you started boxing till the first time you won that big championship, how many years did it take? Because some of these kids who've been boxing for a long time, you know, trying to get there, but they're like, okay, it's taking so long. How long does it really take? It, take, it takes a long, long, long time. <laughs> Four, so I started, five years? So I started 11 years old as a first, you know, and then when I was 13 and every year I won nationals, mm-hmm. you know, from that point on. And then when I turned 18, um, I turned pro, professional okay. boxing, right? And it took me about another... Um, seven eight years wow, before i was given the opportunities you know because wow. because my second fight i lost mm. you know and so when you lose they just kind of throw you out and so they would just you know i stopped training all that stuff they would just call me 
uh, one day notice, two days notice, um, one week notice, but I was knocking everybody out still. So <laughs> yeah. they were like, oh, this kid can fight. Right. Right. So, um, and then I was given that opportunity that the guy, no, that my bro that my uh, that be my brother, he um, he no one wanted to fight him. They couldn't find somebody who was willing. And they asked me, I'm like, hey, um, do you want to fight Vic D'Artagnan? I'm like, sure. Yeah, man, I, I want to fight that dude. Come on, let's do it. It's a championship. Hell yeah. Yeah. You know, and and that was the history from there. It was just it just kept going and going. Wow. You you go that was one of the greatest Asian fighters ever. Yeah, that's a big, you know, those are big shoes to fill. You are the best. Like, um, you know, what do you say to those other guys that's trying to come up? You know what I mean? Like, that's trying to understand how to get to be what you, you what you've done. A lot of people they're not even close to it. How do they get there? Man, I you know what? Where I'm at, I didn't know I was ever gonna be here because I grew up always being told that I was nothing. You know, from everybody. You know, I was nothing. I was. I'm a piece of, you know, and all of that, you know, but um, I, I, just, I just had this dream. I just had this dream that I was gonna be there, that I'm gonna prove to people that I exist, wow. you know? The moment that I did try to take my own, I wanted people, I wanted people to see me, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because no one really cared too much about it. Coming from a person who didn't have money growing up, and once you start winning, you started making money. Yeah. So what did you do like the first time you, you, you got your big check? I didn't really care too much about the money because for me, I just was there, right? Mm -hmm. I was in that moment where I'm just like, ah, you know, I, I'm just gonna do it for everybody else, right? So um, when, when it came down to that, I, I, it, was, it was just dinner. Dinner, 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 great food, dinner, you know, lots of food, lots of good stuff. And, um, and you know, I gave a lot of my money to, to my parents as well, you know, because I'm like, I didn't, I live with them. So I'm like, you know what, I, go ahead, man. I, you know, I, I didn't care too much about that. What so. was the craziest thing that you went out and purchased, man? Man, my very first one. <laughs> the craziest thing. It, it was a, it was an NSX, the accurate NSX. And this is a funny story. Right, yeah. I looked at it. I'm like, oh man, that car is beautiful, right? So I paid for it cash, right? And I was like, oh, I got this stuff. And then, um, you know, they gave me the keys and stuff like that. And then I go in in in, in the driver's seat. You know, this at that time it was my my wife was my girlfriend. So she looked at me and like, oh, cool, this is a beautiful car. And then I was like. Where's the drive? How, how do I drive this thing? <laughs> you know? So she was looking at me. He was like, are you serious? You bought this thing not even knowing that you know how to drive this thing? I'm like, it looks cool. <laughs> it's dope. You know, it's a dope ass car. And so she had to drive it for me and then taught me how to drive a stick. <laughs> no, we do crazy things, man, when we get a limited amount of fun. Yeah. Like, no, no, unlimited amount of fun, we going crazy, right? Oh man, oh yeah. Man, like like so, man, like like I said, man, just the fact that everybody's every you got a left hook, man. Everybody's scared of that, man. You know what I'm saying? It's strong. Yeah. People say that they don't you don't have y'all don't have no power or this what do you say to the critics, man? You've seen the fights, but what do you say to them when they don't know what to expect? Is that, that's actually a leverage, right? No, you know, <laughs> in, in, back in the days, right? Because they don't know. Back in the days when you have the ego, you know, it, it's, it's a leverage because you want to prove them wrong. You know, and then you come to realize that, you know what? None of that really truly mattered. It's about who you are and knowing who you are, right? So, you know, people have to to get to that step before they start to realize and understand what life is about. Right? Yeah. So for me, when, when they would say that back in the day, so I'm like, I'll prove it to you. Yeah. Let me show you how great <laughs> I am, you know? So, um, so when it came down to that, you know, now it's like, I mean, I've, I've done it all. You know, if I get this critic, I'm like, that's cool. I appreciate yeah. your word, but you know what? I am who I am and, and, that, and no one can take that from me, you know? You did, you did yeah. it all. I did it all. And that's the cold part about it, man. One thing I noticed about, and this is recently, I'm becoming aware of this, as we interview more and more celebrities, and especially when they've been there, done that, they're now able to admit that when I was younger, I had an ego out of this world. 
because I did all of this and I thought I was this and so forth. <laughs> when, okay, first of all, tell me, when did that ego ever get in your way? Then also tell me, when did you realize that you had it and how did you, you know, subside and be like, became more humble? Man. That, that's a different story. So I got a lot of stories. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's crazy. That ego got in the way of my marriage. Wow. Mm. Because I was the king of boxing. I was number one pound per pound, two, three sometimes. You know, however people look at it at that time in 2012 or so, you know. And, um, and you know, it wasn't that me and her was having an issue. We just... I just wouldn't listen. I was just this person. Just, my ego was just on on a different rise, right, a different level, and so you know she just got enough, and then she drove me to the courtroom. Mm. You know, it's like you know what, go ahead. You know, she drove me, tossed the keys, and walked to the bus stop. Right. Wow. And so I, I walked in. I'm like, man, forget that. Blah blah blah. I'm like, oh man, I'm like, man, I don't need that stuff. I got I got hell of people. I got hell of girls coming at me. And all blah 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 blah. This and this, right? Right. So I'm, I'm like walking around, you know, and I walked into the court, uh, the room, the the the, the, the front, uh -huh. and the lady was like, oh, you, you know, excuse me, how where do I file for divorce, right? And so she goes, oh, excuse me, sir, this is not the building for that. You gotta go out of here, and you gotta go over there to that building. So I walked out, you know, and and my my pattern in my thoughts was just like, yo, you don't believe in this stuff. Why, why are you even doing this? Right. Right now, so I'm like, whoa, 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 I gotta step back a little bit. And so, so I, 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 I just went out of my head. I'm like, you know what? And then I went to the, to the bus stop where, where she was and I said, yo, let me, um, give me another year or so to figure out why we're here, you know? And from that moment on, I went to all around the world to um, different gurus, different um, seminars, you know, spent so much out of everything, which was great for me because it, it led me to be somewhere greater, right? Mentally, mm -hmm. emotionally. Um, but I, one thing I learned is, um, you know, reading the books and, 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 uh, and just, just being around the people. See, we are energies, you know? And so when we are together with people who are great, beautiful soul, you become those. Right, right. It guides you to be something. And that's why people, you know, with me, I was always a loner and stuff like that. But when I started to realize that the power of unity is, is such a great power that it leads men or little boys to become a real man and a man to become kings. Exactly. You know, because now they understand it because they're surrounding themselves with that. Yeah. You know, and that's how I learned. And, I, and from that point on, you know, our, 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 um, our relationship, that, that word, never has been mentioned again I love that, that divorce you know because we don't believe in it yeah. you know i just said you know what if we can't if we can't have this conversation or if we can't if we're arguing about something let's have this conversation so that we can grow together so we would always grow together and sometimes we may we may not talk for a couple of days you know but but she's <laughs> like you know what I can cook, so you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, that's a real no, but, but yeah, man. But yeah, but that's that's what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. That's where I'm blessed. Self awareness. At. Self awareness. But that's that's one thing I always say from the very beginning was own up to who you are. Own up right. to your words, to your voices, to your emotion, to your mind, to your heart, to what you see, to what you feel. Own up to that, because now you start to understand who you are and how you should do life and how life should be for you. Wow, I, you know, like I said, you know, I'm the one to go into the sports, man. Like, I started to think about different things that's going on in boxing, man. Mike Tyson, the Jake Paul dude. What do you think about when you see these type of fights come back? The old heads, you know, trying to go up. What's, what's, what is that? <clears throat> Uh, you know what, man? I got to give a big uh, shout out to uh, Jake Paul because he's making it happen, though, he's you know? He, he's making other people like boxing, you know? And he's getting better. He's actually taking his time to be good. Not just not just fighting somebody who is not, you know, who's a nobody and all that stuff. Yes, he's taking steps, but he's getting better opposition, right? Um, the whole thing, I mean, it's, it's just one of those things. I mean, people has, you know, Tyson will always have his name as one of the scariest guy in, in, in the world, boxer, you know? No gay. You know, and so, and so it, I think it's just, you know, for them, Jake feels that he can do it, and, and Mike feels that, you know what, he's not that old, and maybe it's, it's ego fighting together to create this whole thing, you know? Because yeah. it's interesting, because you, if you look at it, 
you're, you're, you gotta think. I'm like, Mike is old, but then Jake is a YouTuber, you know? Now, how good can he really be? And how good can Mike really be being this old, right? You know, but then you got to look at all that stuff that Mike had done, even in training. Now, he's still scary as he hell, good, man. Don't, like, oh, don't want to get hit with those stuff, man. You know, I'm like, nah. <laughs> that mind's still there. Right. That reaction's still right. there. And he still has Just that like if you jump, jumping out there, it's a problem. We know you know more than what the average bear yeah, don't know. That's so that's right. crazy. That's right. I was going to grab you when you came in here. I was like, man, let me go and try to. <laughs> I told him before you got here, I was making jokes on another show. You'll see yeah, that yeah. if you watch. Like, yeah. He's coming. And when he comes, I ain't going to box him. I'm going to grab him. <laughs> yeah, hey, crap. hey, man, I've been doing some jujitsu oh, stuff no, too, man. No, so I got you, man. I got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, when you think about, like, uh, Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather, and, and, and his, his contrib contribution to boxing, like, what do you think when you think? Think about Floyd. You know what? Did, what Floyd did was was amazing. You know um, how he created those style, the best defensive style in boxing, um, but mainly the success that he's done. You know, I felt at at times it might have hindered boxing's growth. You know because um, I feel that a lot of the fighters now they don't fight the best unless it's being offered at the thing. And you know you should you should have your own price, but. As a fan, you know you you want the best fighting the best boy like 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 it was back in the days. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Yeah. So, I mean, Floyd did his stuff, man. You know, Floyd did what it, Floyd did, what Floyd needed. Yeah, you know, and but I can't say it was good for boxing. It taught people how to be how to be smart. Mm -hmm. You know, which is good. At the at the other side, it it kind of diminished the challenges in 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 the the you know, the, um, the, uh, the purpose or the, the, the love for the sport or the love for the legacy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So when you think about like where boxing is today, what do you, who is that? OG probably. When you think about where boxing is today, what do you think about it? Boxing is today, I think like in life, it's always constantly evolving. And, and if you can't evolve, it'll disappear. Mm. You know, just like every store that you see that every, that we used to go in the malls, they're they're all gone. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because they didn't evolve. You know, and that's the thing is, boxing has to evolve. And in like the Jake Paul, the KSI, they are evolving boxing. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's why I appreciate that because at first I was like, man, all these YouTubers, blah blah blah. This, then I started to realize that you know what, they are actually making a way that other people are loving the sports, regardless of how boxing is now it's gonna it's gonna change like everything in life it has to change yeah you know yeah when you look at these boxers down like um i just seen terrence crawford that fight he just had or you know even with what happened with ryan and devin like where is it when it come to those you know uh, like those are two different cases for sure but when you come to i'll go with uh where do you see crawford at when next fight what is he doing where is he headed with this you know, I think for me, Crawford is very talented. I think that he needs to stay in this weight for a, mo for a moment, get comfortable in it. Because this is the first time he went up into this, uh, into, into the middleweights, right? And, um, you know, a, a super welterweight. Uh, and, and um, again, that's, that's all there is, is just for him to allow his, his confidence and, and, and his, his talent to come out in this, in this division. Because, for for who how he fought, you know he got caught a lot. Yeah. You know it didn't show the turns that was dominating Spence. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Now I for me I would definitely have him you know baby step this or or, or create a step then until you're ready and perform good because you got to win. You got to win mentally. You got to win emotionally. You know you got to be. Uh, able to feel that you are the king of this division to be able to control the division like he did in the last couple of divisions. What, and I, I brought Devin and Ryan up. How do Devin, because you've been through some stuff, you know how, what it is to get beat, come back. What do Devin do to, to understand all the mental of what happened with that fight mm -hmm. with him? Humble. Be humble. You know, because the ego is going to say, man, I, you know, I got lucky this. There's going to be things that the ego is going to tell you that that um, you're better than what, what, what it is. Instead of saying, you know what, thank you for that experience. 
what happened really now you can say how you can get better and 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 there's a road and a path for you to get better rather than go in the same cycle because you didn't believe it because you felt like it was luck or because your ego got in the way that dictate your action and your thoughts to to think differently rather than rather than um think to learn and grow take the defeat right tell you know i got hit with this punches okay this is what I got to do next time, you know, instead of instead of the ego telling you that, no, I got to train harder, I got to train harder. Instead, let it go, accept it and, and be grateful for it and say, what is the lesson in this experience to make me the person that I am supposed to be? That's good. What what about uh, he just had an incident? And I'm just hearing about it like last week or so yeah, yeah. Uh, outside of the ring. Like, how do you? How do you deal with the scrutiny and the people saying this and the voices and the, the you know the just the just the side stand? How do you deal and with being it? so young? Yeah, and and you you know, you know you just said ego, and I, I think about that, but still, it's a lot of people saying a lot of things, and you out here walking and you are dealing with these civilians, man. It gonna cost you some Social money. Social media, you, you and, know. And, and, and this is what I'm gonna, <laughs> and this is what I'm gonna tell them: structure your business that nothing can be taken from you, man, because. You know, like if I'm saying, like for me, I'm at the level, right? So I'm, I'm thinking that that young age, right, where I got my ego and stuff. Yeah. Like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do whatever stupid things that I can think of, you know, because you know that's this is how being young is about. When you get to to, to an idea or to a, to an understanding of yourself, that don't matter, mm -hmm. you know. But that's why I'm like straighten your your um your financial financial, you know, don't own. Uh, your your uh, your um, your business have uh, a trust or some owns it for you and, and 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 you don't own the trust and protect all you. protect yourself because none of that can be taken from you. Right. I can I can knock somebody out. Maybe I'll go to jail. But guess what? None of them can be taking my money. Yeah, you because you right. I said it right. I'm not. I'm gonna go into a fight. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, I'm I'm willing and able. If it happens to me, I'll, I'll be cool. You know what I'm saying? Because everything that I have and work for is gonna be for my kids. Go back. And, no, I want to go back. I want to go back. Somebody <laughs> said something to you or anything outside the ring where you, you was tempted or somebody was like messing with you or taunting you. Um, ever. I mean, way, way back, you know, and, and you was you know, younger when I was younger, that was it, you know, yeah. and, and that didn't go well for them, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, a couple broken ribs. That was it, you know, um, probably wouldn't be able to eat for a couple months, uh, but that was it. I mean, I don't really get into fight because you know what? I always the thing. The only thing is I'm not a talker when it comes down to fighting right in the streets, you know. I, I will look at everything else because this is my money maker. Yeah, you know, yeah. I I will look at something else. I will I will break legs or whatever maybe right or grab something right. But I don't get into that because of the fact that words to me don't matter. Now you gotta understand, I grew up being bullied where words were like really hurtful until you just like you know, right. I realize words don't mean nothing if you don't really give a crap about right. it. Don't yeah. react. You don't you know? It's like you know what? Do it. Do it. you know what? The moment that you touch me. My family or anybody else, we're, it's 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 over. Yeah. But you have people out here because you're a celebrity, and they don't just do this to boxers. They do this to anybody who everybody. has money because to them it's a way easy way to come up. They just they'll taunt you because as much as we say words don't hurt, everybody has a trigger. Whether they'll say something about your family or your kids or your 100%. whatever. They'll say something so that you can come at them. Then all of a sudden they'll have a camera recording and like, "Well, you attacked me. I didn't attack you, and I'm going to sue you." Da -da -da -da. Hey, they can, they can sue me all they want. They can, they, you know. It, I'll pay for your medical bill. That's it. <laughs> Watch me, you know. But you can't take nothing from me because it's set for my kids. That's wow. good. I want to ask you about Earl Spence. I said his name earlier. Like, um, what? Do when like he like I say again you've been through a lot and you've seen these fighters he I don't think he's come back and fought one time he's about to fight again he, are they talking about it like uh, what do you expect to see from him you know if you don't get your mind right you're gonna keep going in a downward uh, downward spiral that's it if you're not if you're not mentally ready to cope up to what happened and 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 take in the responsibility of the situation you're always gonna go in a downward uh, downward spiral because 
you just your ego is too too potent for you to be guided by 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 your will by your heart by your soul you know you're just going out there trying to be mad about something when when it's already done it's already been done you know what instead of fighting for that think about how move and again forward. i'm going and move forward and be grateful for that you know again for me i've been, i've lost here and there you know i've won and then lose win you know and i learn from all of them because i state to myself that all experiences is an experience to better us emotionally whatever it may be physically mentally all of that stuff is an experience to better us that's what experience does to us it's just yeah. that we we take things for granted we take things and we get so complacent you know that's the, the thing is complacency is the killer of dreams complacency is the killer of men complacency is the killer of life wow and after um because you saw when he had his wreck his terrible wreck right you saw because yeah. it was all over social media yeah. were you shocked that he even came back after that i was that's why when people was telling me i was just saying um i don't know if he really got over that right you know i mean life and death situation some people will take it like i don't really care about life right I, I did it before i'm gonna do it again you know or they're gonna be fear, fearful you know there's a lot of ways and places that people think you know and and so to not clarify that to not understand that and to not accept that will, will lead him into a place that's that's dark mm -hmm. and although you're physically um cleared by doctors mentally yeah. you don't know how yeah. much it affects you even just to go back into the ring and even just to get a blow yeah yeah and 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 life and life is mental right you know sometimes everything that we do it's how strong we are mentally that we can only perform according to how we are in our mind it's everything relationships yeah. everything everything did you see that interview that uh de la hoya did with uh shannon sharp de la hoya is <laughs> on a different level man you know de, de, la, hoya, de la hoya man i see man I, that's what i'm saying like if you cannot understand you and you know if he's happy this and this and that that's cool but i i just I, you know it, it, it's just on a different level you of, know you where know i was saying. going yeah, with yeah, that man. I, I don't know you man should, you know, no, no i don't know what wore, happened he was talking about the lingerie photo that he took and yeah who delahoy yeah he had this fish net on it's all it's, it's all hey, so he I said didn't see it. He, he said something about 60 70 percent of men where their <laughs> their partners um uh lingerie is or is that or, true I don't, know me. I don't know nothing about that. Hey, hey, listen, if it did, it wouldn't fit me. <laughs> so I guess he, you know, this picture is up where he shows that's him That's crazy, this. man. That, that, I, it threw me off. But that's why, that's why he tried to convince people that it's like 70%. That's what De La Hoya said, you know? I'm like, come what, on, bro. What, what do you think about the generation that we're in where you see a lot of men nowadays, especially in a rap game, I see men jumping out and wearing whether skirts or, and, this, and they'll say that they're not even that way. It's a fashion statement. What <laughs> not my fashion statement, man. You know, see, this is the thing that I always fight for. It's, it's masculinity. Mm -hmm. Because as men, without men, we get weak men who, 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 will, not, who will not lead a, a generation of greatness. It's gonna be a, a generation of failures, you know, because they're, they're men that just that just falls down, you know. Back back in our times and even before that, you can drop to us. We get back up numerous times. That's right. You know. Now it's like, oh god, I need disability. Hold on, time out, time out. Oh, my <laughs> back true. hurt. My back hurt. How can I get money from this? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I, I just for me, masculine energy is such a powerful energy that this world need and, and as well as, as the feminine energy you know not just not just women degrading men but m men empower um, women empowering men this is how i became the person that i am because my woman empowered me well it's and it's so crazy that you said that because that's exactly where i was going with it i'm wondering is that the reason why men are becoming how they are because more women have this thing where I'm independent, I'm independent, I don't need a man, I don't need a man. And by doing so, you're degrading that man and not letting the man be the head of the household or be the head of a woman as where they're supposed to be. Right, and there's a big respect when it comes down to that too, because there's other men that just, like when with me, you know, I've always had respect, but I've never let nobody, you know, um, dictate 
what 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 um what's important to me you know a lot of the time my 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 girl my my queen does whatever decision that needs to be done but when it came down to a single decision you know it's my decision and there's right. not a person um that that would take it otherwise but like you said men have gone to a point where they gave up so easily you know and and that this is why the balance of this world is 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 in limbo right wow um ryan garcia he says something on you know the internet is different right <laughs> now let's think about the this for a minute always we wins. never <laughs> had the internet like we've had it on the level that we have it today oh yeah you heard that what i heard if you heard what I heard. <laughs> Everybody heard. Everybody heard the <laughs> remarks and the, you know, all of, all of the vulgar things that was said. Then it's like, oh, no, I'm just, I was just trolling or he was, they was trying to clean it up. Nah. Like, wh what does that, what causes a person to spiral like this and can he come back from it? You know, ownership. That's what he needs truly the most because he has to understand because he likes to run away from himself. He don't like himself. This is why he's able to say all this hurtful stuff because he don't like what he sees. He don't like who he is, you know? And that's the thing that people don't understand. People that, that does that, is, he's losing his mind because you know what? He got his, his parents over here telling this and this and that and there's so much pressure on him, plus the fight, this and that, you know? And plus he's taking all this, either whether it's, it's chemical and, 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 and alcohol and stuff like that, it can alter your mind. Yeah. You know, and, and at the end of the day, you're going to use it to get yourself out of your mind, get yourself out of, of, of reality. And you're going to do stupid things like has he done, you know, uh, it, it's 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 self-destructive. It's self-destructive. But kids these days were never taught to cope for themselves. Mm -hmm. When you see somebody do something like that that always is going to be out there that's why you got to be careful what you say behind these or what you say on these cell phones because now anytime he's trying to do anything in life they can bring that picture back up and show it to yes. him what you said that night oh yeah you don't really care about this or that because of how you responded to who mm -hmm. you don't I don't like blacks. There it is, and that, that. I don't like. They're gonna say that's family. how you they're always really, felt. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna they're yeah. gonna bring it back up. And they're gonna say, you know what? You were drunk, and that's what they say. They tell the truth. They tell the <laughs> truth. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, they're gonna say all of that. They're, you know, he's already. At, that's always gonna be brought back. Yeah. You know, and and there's gonna be there's a lot of crazy people out there that will just take it to them their own. You know, and then they're gonna handle their own th stuff because they felt some type of way. It could be a, a meme, a parody that where they put it somewhere where it continues to go. That's what's crazy about it. You never know. You said Michael Jackson cry face. They went crazy with that. You remember <laughs> that meme? It was everywhere. It's still everywhere. When you want to make something funny, you just throw its face on there. It's, you sure. don't never know what they're gonna do with this stuff. But I gotta ask you about uh, um, Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather, in their prime. Do we get the same fight that we got watching them in their older age? I, you know what? <laughs> that, that's a thought right there. That's a thought right there because Floyd, the way he fought was, was incredibly, you see, this is two opposing guys. Of, of, they're like fire and water. Completely opposite. While you got the offensive guy in, in Pacquiao, you got the, def the best defensive guy in Floyd, right? And, and at the young age, uh, at their prime, that's something that we uh, we really I can't I can't even talk about that stuff, man. You know, because like for me, it'll just drive me nuts. Because I'm like, you know what? I think this person, nah, this is, you know, what I'm saying? Go I'm going back, go back, back either and forth. Way. Like, you know what? Because when it comes down to it, the smarter fighter is Floyd. Yeah. You know, when it comes down to to to, to, to uh, stamina, Pacquiao has like limitless of that. Yeah. You know? So there's there's a lot of things that's that's opposite of each other, but. It's also um, the the, uh, the the what is that called? Like they're meant to f to be. Uh, they they're meant to, their style is meant to be because they're both great at what they do. That's great. That's a great way they're to look destined. at it. Yeah, I man. just like I said, man. I'm, I'm definitely man. Like so so. What's what's going on with you now? Like what's what's big? What's what's the big thing? You know what? Is it family? <laughs> I know it's family. You. That's 100%. all we talking about the whole show. Yeah, but when family. it comes to boxing, what's up? What's going on? So with me um, right now, I'm actually going back since I've been training a lot of fighters, the young guys. I started to realize that you know what. 
let me give me this last hurrah. You want right? to go back in? Oh, man. I'm 100%. See, the thing about it is like, I'm blessed with this inspiration, this motivation to wake up in the morning and train, right? And, and love my body. But at the same time, I want to test his body, right? Because I love being in there. So that's the thing with me. It's like some guys, they, they, they quit and they're, because they don't want to do it. No, they don't want to do the work. They don't want to do none of that stuff. I still want to do all that stuff, Wow. you know? And then this challenge and sparring and fighting and all of that stuff, man. For me, that's that's my that's that's my place to be. But as you get older, as you are getting older, and as even this training, is your body reacting different to you than compared to when you were in your twenties? It it is it is you know it um it hurts more. Right, right. <laughs> but hey, but you know one thing that I've learned is that you know for me I do I do a lot of meditation so meditation and healing you know okay. i heal myself through that meditation and just understanding that my body works for me yeah you know i am one with my body so you know when the greatest power that any human being can have is believing in something believing in their body believing in their heart believing in their capabilities because i'm still one of the toughest guy even though i'm older than those guys right by almost 20 years or you know or maybe more um but that's one thing that I started to learn and this is why I can still compete at my level and be great still is because I, I, I understand the secret of it is, is having this incredible belief in my ability in my body and be grateful for my body. So every time I wake up in the morning, I'm like, thank you. Thank you for another day. Thank you for this stuff. Thank you for my cells. Thank you for mitochondria. Thank you for this energy. You know, that's me. That, I'm just like, I'm pumped up when I wake up. How, who, who, who would you like to fight? Um, so the, 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 <laughs> you got I'm gonna fight everybody. <laughs> hey, light them all up. No, um, Chocolatito, uh, Roman Gonzalez. You know he was the number one pound per pound right after me, um, and you know he's one of the, one of the he's a legendary fighter. So it's gonna be legend versus legend is what people are saying. Wow. You know, but. I got him though. How long <laughs> is this gonna happen? And is there a date set or anything? Not yet. Twenty five. Yeah, right. No, I'm, I'm hoping at the end of this year. You know, this year. Okay. that's that's what I'm 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 making it happen. You know, I'm I'm uh, I'm 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 on constant like, yo, is are we are we doing this? Are we doing this? You know. Yeah. So I'm like that kid. I'm like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> no, quiet. You know. So yeah, hey, are, are we making this fight? Are we making this fight? Are we making this fight? You know, because this is the fight I want. Yeah, you know I, mean? I, I but know. In but it's in generation in this generation where everything is social media and numbers and so forth. Um, some people would say like, or should I say, am I watching too much TV if I think this way? Okay. Um, you know how sometimes people you do some sort of altercation between you and him where it goes on social media and everybody is like in the comments, oh, we need to see that fight, we need to see that fight. Right. If everybody starts saying it, then they'll be like, okay, yeah, we need to do this fight. Right, so I've never is been that, that true? kind of guy, but he's not that kind of guy either. We've always been known for our class, right? Mm -hmm. But I was interviewed that I was gonna make this fight happen. And then in his social media, he said, something about no that's not happening that's we're not fighting you know okay. that's just that's just a rumor or whatever I'm, I'm shutting it down so now everybody's like man why you scare him why you why you why, why you ducking <laughs> this and this and this and that so you know people in its own are, are already just it's building already it up just doing yeah. it okay, okay yeah so for the younger guys coming up and with all the knowledge that you have on it let's go into finances just a little bit like how do a guy keep his finances straight as a young guy getting in the game man well one thing First and foremost, you know, one thing that I learned is, is is don't don't be over you know don't be over crazy with it just because you you think it's gonna happen and you know you got coming in right now you know what save your money man yeah. invest your money you know um, again protect your your assets you know um, don't don't you know just keep creating things take things slowly because it's so easy to spend. What about when you don't structure correctly? You look at Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, he was, he was fought, made over five hundred million, and you look at him, and he ends up now. Uh, you see Don King. You see how the transformation took yeah. place. How did you avoid, you know, making the right decision when it came down to your bag? It's called a smart wife. <laughs> That's it. You know, That's, I because I, I, you know, again, I'm a happy person. I'll spend blah, 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 this and this and that. I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. This and that. Hey, let's have a good time. You know, and it's like, uh-uh. Nope. <laughs> nope. You know, now she controls 
it because it goes to where my kid's gonna be. So you help, she helped you manage making decisions on who you worked with yeah. early on as well? Yeah. As far as who was dealing with the right. way that the fights were set up yeah. or what, how she that might all her. She's, she's, she's man, yeah. that's brilliant. She, she's, she's my manager. She got me from, from uh, a, a pay to becoming like, I don't know, three or four times more, five times more, because she was smart that way, you know? Mike had Robin Givens and a couple of more. Like, it probably, it was tough trying to figure out how to move to Uber Prills and all kind of stuff going on. Yeah. But was she into boxing before she, was she into boxing before she met you? Um, she she was always into fighting because she's actually um, a national, taekwondo, yeah, taekwondo it, national right. taekwondo, you know, national team, you know, and that's how we met because it was, uh, a friend of hers who was a friend of mine too who was this girl um, boxer mm -hmm. you know they grew up together and so that you know it was it, she just made team uh, in Taekwondo and then she was celebrating and that's how I got to met, uh, meet her okay. you know um, but she was always into fighting she loves fighting even now she's like man let's go to this fight let's go to this fight let's go to this fight <laughs> you know and for me I'm like I've been in, my, in fights for like all my life you know so I was like I just want to Stay home, chill, you know, and 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 smoke my cigar or whatever, you know. <laughs> no, that's real, man. Thank you for coming on the show, man. Like, who was your top three fighters before we get of off all here? Time. of all time, dead or alive? Mm -hmm. Man, top I would, three fighters. Man, that's time. a lot. Um, I would say Sugar Ray Robinson. Okay. Um, man, there's there's a lot, man. Narrow it down. You know, three uh, only. I know Sugar Ray Leonard. Mm -hmm. And I gotta say, Roy Jones. Man, I love that. Love Roy three. Jones as well. I love yeah. that top man. three. Yeah, man, so. I just want to say thank you, man. Like I said, just for you coming on the show, man, and spending some time with me and the wife, man, and rocking with Boss Talk 101 <laughs> while the boss is talk. <laughs> You're a real boss, man. Thank you, brother. For the show, man. And like I said, everything that's in the it boss, the, it, what makes you the champ to me is them two kids, man, them boys, and that wife, man, and keeping a gangster and taking care of family, man. Thank you so much, Thank man. You, God bless you, bro. God bless. Hey, man. Listen, bless man. You. Thank you. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, man. Listen, you heard it, man. It's going down. Boss Talk 101. One more again, man. We everywhere doing everything. We up here in Las Vegas, man. <laughs> right. It's hot. Y'all got it hot up here, bro. Oh, uh, we used to that, though. Why? Oh, it's <laughs> really uh, hot, man. I'm always in the sun, so I'm cool, man. I'm cool. Oh, you do you know, everything yeah. by the book. That's man. right. That's Check right. it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the boss is talking. And we out. Man.